Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're going to do a speed test comparison of two smartphones below the thirty thousand price segment. We have the Realme X7 Pro and the OnePlus Nord. So OnePlus Nord is one of the really popular smartphones below the thirty thousand price segment. Now we have the real competitor from Realme, the Realme X7 Pro with the Dimensity thousand plus chipset. While we have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G octa-core processor. Now both are a five G enabled chipset. Now we have the Oxygen OS uh, and uh, Android 10 on the OnePlus Nord, while we have the Realme UI 1.0 and Android 10 on uh, the Realme X7 Pro. So we'll be doing a uh, 16 app speed test comparison to see how much difference uh, does the uh, Dimensity 1000 Plus and the 765G makes in terms of app opening. So we'll be also testing the memory management of these two devices. So these are two really powerful uh, devices below the thirty thousand price segment, and we'll be comparing them in terms of app opening and the memory management. So before going to the speed test, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's get started with the speed test comparison. So we have the two devices, the Realme X7 Pro and the OnePlus Nord. So let's just go to the settings. So let's just open the settings and uh, see here about phone, and uh, here also about phone. You can see here both the devices are running on Android 10. Now one is uh, the Realme UI version 1.0, while we have the Oxygen OS 10. We have the Dimensity 1000 Plus octa-core processor, while we have the Snapdragon 765G octa-core processor. Now both the devices have Android 10, uh, so that's the uh, uh, software aspect of these two devices, and also the processor. So we are just cleared of all the apps from the background. So there you go. Now let's uh, see the network connection. So here again you can see both are connected to the same uh, Wi-Fi network. So let's just turn off the Bluetooth on both the devices. So there you go. Same network uh, and uh, both are in airplane mode. So we're gonna uh, test uh, these sixteen apps. So so one thing to note here is that the Snapdragon seven sixty five G may not be as powerful as the Dimensity thousand plus uh, chipset. So that's one thing to consider. And also the one plus Nord is kind of a slightly older. device so over a period of time updates might have slowed down a bit so let's uh, check the speed test um, and uh, see which is able to load these apps faster so first uh, app uh, would be asphalt 9 so there you go let's open asphalt 9 and see both the devices have enabled the gaming mode so uh, both have uh, uh, the gaming mode and they have enabled by default let's see how much time it takes uh, for this game asphalt 9 So you can see here the Realme X7 Pro has taken the lead and uh, uh, opened the Asphalt 9 much faster than uh, the OnePlus Nord. Next uh, would be Temple Run. So let's see which is able to load Temple Run faster. So here again uh, the Realme X7 Pro takes the lead. Uh, next is uh, Play Store. Again uh, X7 Pro is faster. Chrome browser. Again uh, the Realme is faster. Facebook. Almost same time probably. Twitter again. Uh, Realme is faster. Here you could see that OnePlus Nord is faster. Ghana. So there you go. You can see that here uh, the Realme. I mean the OnePlus Nord was faster. Amazon. Again, uh, Realme is faster. Flipkart. Almost same time probably. File Manager. Uh, OnePlus Nord is faster. Settings. OnePlus Nord is faster. YouTube. It was faster on the Realme. Gmail. A fraction of a second OnePlus Nord, but not by huge margin. Camera. Realme. Here again, maps also Realme. So what you could see is uh, the Realme X7 Pro is definitely faster. Uh, most of the apps were faster, especially the games and uh, a lot of apps were faster. The OnePlus Nord with the 765G uh, still did really well, I would say, because uh, it's kind of slightly older device, almost six to seven months old, and over a period of time updates have slowed it down. But still, it was uh, maintaining a uh, good speed, and that has to be related to the Oxygen OS. Uh, so that's one where there is a bit more optimization now. Let's uh, see the memory management. How good the memory management is? Maps is available. Camera is available. Gmail available. YouTube is available. Settings is available. File manager is available. Flipkart uh, is uh, in the memory. 
Amazon is in the memory. Ghana has been reloaded on the Realme uh, X7 Pro. Instagram again uh, reloaded. Twitter is again reloaded. Facebook is available. Chrome browser is available. Play Store is available. Then uh, Temple Run. Again, Temple Run has been reloaded on uh, the Realme X7 Pro. So, memory management is in that impressive on the Realme X7 Pro. We saw this while doing the uh, 80 versus Realme X7 Pro speed test as well. Now, Asphalt 9, and here again you can see that uh, OnePlus Nord is able to retain it while it is being uh, again reloaded on the Realme X7 Pro. So, what uh, you could clearly see that the memory management with Oxygen OS 11 is really impressive while Realme uh, UI 1.0 with the Android uh, 10 needs to improve on the memory management even with a powerful chipset. It is not able to retain the apps in the memory. Most of them are reloaded. Uh, in fact, uh, four of them were reloaded on the Realme X7 Pro. So that is the speed test comparison of the Realme X7 Pro with uh, the OnePlus Nord. So in terms of overall performance, definitely the uh, Dimensity 1000 Plus is more powerful than the Snapdragon 765G. So that's it for this video. This is Normal signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.